It looks like Apple might be ready to start killing the notch, but uh, the alternatives are rather interesting. Nintendo is apparently showing some love to the design of the original Switch, giving us some new internals, and according to trusted sources, we might be getting up to five new iPads in September. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, definitely, I know, this face. It's bad, but our Oppo Reno video from Japan is live. It took me forever to edit that video, but it's, it was a great experience. Make sure you watch it. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with references that people might only understand if they watch the Matrix trilogy. If you have not, you have missed out on some of the best movies, but these are actually things to be of concern, as uh, there is a new virus called Aegis Smith, malware should I call it, that's actually really disruptive. Over 25 million phones have been infected with this malware, with applications like WhatsApp serving it and invading your privacy. Over 15 million of the victims are in India and in the United States over 300,000. It's spread by third-party applications on the store, over nine of which are owned by Alibaba. The attackers reportedly want to move to the Play Store as they have found over 11 vulnerable applications. Authorities have been warned, and if you find any adware on your phone or applications that don't usually have ads, immediately uninstall them. And sadly, it doesn't seem easy to detect. Again, if you're being served ads that you're not supposed to be getting from these apps, you might want to worry about that. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Fold as uh, we're waiting for it to launch. We still don't have dates, but apparently it's already being tested as uh, it was apparently caught in the wild in New Delhi recently. And obviously it has to be sent to all carriers where it's planned to be launched. And these carriers have to launch all their tests. So I assume that we should be seeing the fold in the wild over the next couple of days. So stay tuned for rumors. Obviously we can't wait to hear more information and probably the Samsung Galaxy Unpack will provide us with details. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Yesterday we covered the possible renders. Then we covered some renders that actually came from official sources according to the information that we got. And now we've got it filed on the FCC where we see images of its measurements. We see the fact that the headphone jack is dead. We're still trying to figure out exactly what the teaser is with the camera being drawn by the S Pen, but uh, obviously we're still very close to unpack, so we should be getting more information soon. Now let's talk about iPads, as obviously I am a big fan of iPad OS. I have been testing it on my iPad Pro for a bit. I am really in love with the experience so far. Apparently we have up to five devices being already sent for certification to the EuroAsian Commission. Uh, we apparently have an iPad 7, which is a 9.7 inch, and apparently also a revamp to the iPad Air, which is the 10.5 inch model. We haven't exactly heard about the pros, but we assume that those are the other two models and probably a refresh to the iPad mini, as we've seen Apple being doing these changes to the life cycles of Mac, so it makes sense for this to come to the iPad lineup as well. Stay tuned as obviously their event is most likely gonna happen in September. And let's talk about the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, yesterday the news were the fact that we had a new Nintendo Switch Lite, which we're still debating if it's actually a Switch or not, because it's not anything other than a portable console. Thing about it is we're wondering exactly what's going to happen to the original Switch because the hardware is dated. It's pretty much a four-year-old chip. So apparently we are getting changes, not in the design. Apparently we're getting a new chip, we're getting new flash memory. Apparently there's going to be a change in the logic board, but it seems that the documents received by the FCC were mainly that Nintendo's declaring that these are the changes, but then the design doesn't change at all. So stay tuned. We're not exactly sure when we're getting this new Switch, but I can't wait for the update because definitely improvements in performance are something that I would really like to see. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the future of iPhones and what exactly is Apple going to do as we've been covering a couple of rumors over Apple possibly getting rid of Face ID. And once we get Ming-Chi Kuo on this, apparently it's going to happen. But the thing about it is it won't happen yet. According to Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple has a roadmap over how they plan to phase out Face ID. So it seems that in the case of right now, 2019, we're gonna get three iPhones with notches and Face ID. So don't expect any changes now. And then in 2020, we're apparently getting two iPhones with smaller notches and Face ID and one iPhone with no notch and full screen fingerprint scanner. That's gonna be interesting. And then in 2021, three iPhones with no notch and a full screen fingerprint scanner. Now this comes in conflict with other rumors that we heard where apparently that fingerprint scanner would only work on half the display. But if Apple could figure out how to put it on the whole screen, that's going to be great. Let us know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think that it's a good approach to kill Face ID? 
because Apple claimed that it was more secure than anything out there, and now for the company to be killing it off says a lot. I feel that the fingerprint scanner should have been like the most secure solution, but obviously we've learned that optically it's not the best. So I feel that whatever approaches are given in order to improve security is great. We'll see what we get, but let us know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And also, follow me on my personal handles to see what I do with these phones as I test them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.